Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a little different. Um, as you can see, I come to you as Mermaid Queen of this beautiful monument that I modified a little. Um, today I am going to be showing you some really cool underwater houses. Um, there is a mod for Java Edition, which is Origins. You may have heard of it. Um, where basically you can become like different things with different abilities. Um, today one of those abilities is a Merling and I'm going to be showing you some cool ideas for house builds that I came up with for you if you are playing that. Um, and if you are on Bedrock and cannot play the Java Edition mod, there is a, another mod that is being modeled after that one. Um, it is called Origins BE for Bedrock Edition. Um, they have a Discord server, and I will also link the download page in the description for that. But without further ado, let's go through some of the houses I did. Okay, so first we have, of course, had to do the pineapple under the sea. And in this pineapple, we have some windows, you know, easier to swim in and out of if you really wanted to. I put barrels above the chests because if you put chests up there you can't open them, so what's the point? Um, but simple, cute, small, but functional. And then there's the hole in the roof, swim in and out again. Lots of options. Um, that's pretty much it for the pineapple. But, you know, had to do it for the meme. From there we're going to move on to this really cute coral reef house that I found. Basically, I just found a coral reef and started building off of some of the cool structures that I found and ended up with this two-part house thing. So, first part is kind of like a Beauty and the Beast library moment for me. Um, lots of windows, again, easy to swim in and out of. Um, and then there's the tunnel, which I left the roof open. And then the other part of this house is, again, Fairly small, still very functional, um, storage, workbenches, bed, you know, the usual. Um, again, more windows, and if you really wanted to, you could put fence posts around and leash dolphins to them and have, like, permanent dolphins grace. So, you know, go all out with it. Uh, then, if you are lucky enough to find an underwater amethyst, spawn thing. I don't really know what they're called. They're just clusters of amethyst. Um, those are really cool houses, I think. I went in, this one was kind of like a half globe, so I kind of modified it to put a door on it and all that. Again, really small, but it's really pretty, so I don't know. Pros and cons. You could always expand off of it if you really wanted to. Also, if you have an issue with the little water lines on blocks, get a water bucket and obviously don't open the chest like I did. Uh, crouch and place the water bucket on the block and it will get rid of that. So then you're good to go. So that's kind of it for that. From there we're going to move on to the shipwreck that I found. Luckily mine was actually a full boat. Um, there's the one area with my no trespassing sign. Um, it's got all the regular crafting bench stuff in it because who wants to have to go into their boat every five seconds to use their crafting table? Not me. Um, and then there's a little enchanting table. And quick tip there, if you want to up your craft, your enchanting level on your table, you can make the floor out of bookcases. It still looks like wood, but it has the same effect, I think. Then down here on this side, there's more storage underneath the boat. And then a little room with a bed. Of course, you could decorate that a little more, but there's not a whole lot of space, so I just kind of put the bed down and went with it. And for a finishing touch, I put some banners on top, make it look like a ship flag. Then, for the one you've been waiting for, the monument! I did not do the whole monument, just a disclaimer there. I, that's too much work. I redid some of the arches to put coral on them instead of the prismarine. Marks the entrance makes it pop out a little more. Um, I also use different color carpets, but I'll explain that later. There's a little guest room with no water, 
for any friends of yours you may be playing on a server with or whatever. And in these chests I have a couple helping things, some food, you know, turtle helmet with some enchantments on it, you know, water breathing potions, stuff that would help them get around down here because obviously not Merlin. We have our storage room. Um, got built-in storage on the back wall with all the barrels and then the workbench is on either side to, you know, do stuff with. And this is our enchanting room, as you can probably tell. And then the really cool part about this one is if you swim up by the enchanting table, there is your bedroom, which I made a cute little bed thing out of trapdoors. So, I mean, again, small bedroom, but like, what do we do in a bedroom? We sleep, like there's a bed, that's about it. It still looks cute to me, so moving on. Um, back to the carpet thing, the cyan carpet kind of represents like a dead end. So like if you go in this room, there's no other hallways. Um, and then light blue carpet is like the main pathway leads you back to the exit if you need it. So you don't get lost. So yeah, that's, that's about it. We're back here at my little queen, queen post. I don't know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of short but sort of informant video. I don't really know what this was. It was just an idea I had. Um, if you guys enjoyed this idea and would like me to show off other houses for, you know, other origins, um, please leave a like, comment down below what you'd like to see next as the next origin houses I do. Um, as usual, I hope you'll have a blessed day. And I will see you guys in the next video, probably back in my other skin, but this was cute for a change. Bye.